Alright guys, this is Maloichip and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So I've been working yesterday a little bit and I just actually finished up today. So I had 200 but because of the timer they basically went down to, well, 150-ish. Um, so yeah, kind of gathered up a couple more. I should be around 200 now. Uh, as you can see, three cleavers on me because I still need a lot of flesh. And I've basically been farming here because these guys, well, they're, they're a decent amount and no high level tier uh, gear. So yeah, as you can see, they're basically one shots. Really easy to farm them up. Right, second run. Because, well, it was taking ages, so why not go for another run, right? <laughs> and there we go. How much can we craft up now? Oh, another 200. Nice. So 210. Uh, we're gonna need 70 to upgrade this one. I did. Uh, in the meantime, before I actually went on another hunt, that's how long it took. I went and grabbed all, grabbed all the uh, building pieces that I need uh, out of the vault and placed them in the different uh, religions. Well, the different temples we could actually do. So, well, yeah, just let's do this upgrade, right? Let's uh, craft one of these. I don't hope it's gonna take everything, just leave everything where it is. And I think this is the last upgrade for this segment as well. Uh, as you can see, I have a uh, frost axe in me. It's from the Temple of Ymir. Uh, basically, to upgrade that, you need ice shards, but. As far as I, well, I, I first thought, okay, it's an axe, so let's chop some wood, but I cleared this out and then went around and around and around, like, I, my entire uh, box is filled with wood. I got almost an extra box full of wood, wood and still no shards, so I was thinking, okay, let's go to the winter biome and, and test on, on an ice chart there, and then I, I try to find a tree in the ice biome and try to chop down there, and... I went uh, towards, <laughs> as you can see, it's. Uh, I went towards uh, bottom here where there were some trees. I farmed those trees, nothing. I farmed metal, nothing. I uh, don't want to miss a glimpse of one. It actually should be... Oh, it's not going to do it unless we turn off these. Okay, okay, let's, let's craft. Now it's going further. Come on, give me, give me a little tick. Let me show how fast you are. Uh, there we are. Doesn't really. So yeah, I've tested it on a lot of things, uh, and still no ice shards. My fridges are full of ice now. That's kind of good. Got a lot of metal. Um, so basically, we've been farming up a little bit um, of the boxes to make sure they're, they're still full, but. Yeah, no, no shards. So if you guys know how I can get shards to actually upgrade that one as well, it would be nice. How long are you gonna take? Okay, I think we have time to. Well, I kind of don't want to miss it. So I'm gonna uh, give it a wait, see when it pops up, and then uh, we'll go on to the next one. It should be any second now. We did took out like everything that was in there except for the building blocks. Can't take out building blocks, else the building will stop. <laughs> How big are you gonna be? Show me. Still in the middle. Come on, you were one tick away. Oh, come on, don't make me impatient. Been impatient for the past. <laughs> Well, five to ten minutes, something like that. Ah, come on, you were only one tick, a tick away. I just knew it. It didn't already change, right? Oh, there it goes. It's, oh, okay, it's same temple, but golden now. Okay, okay, I remember, I remember. Wait, what? This item cannot be moved? Seriously? Is he, is he, is he, seriously? Can I, can I make them in any? Luckily I took everything out. 100, 
Why can I not move this? That's that's kind of ri ridiculous. Okay, let's uh, no, let's go look at our other one. I guess. Well, it needs to come back. Let's just run. Ooh, don't die. Died earlier. Jumping off wasn't recovered fully yet. Actually, jumped to my death. I think we have a ladder here. At least we should have one. No, not yet. Crap. And that's the opening of the elevator. No, that's an opening for a ladder. That's not here. Oh, well, let's climb the walls. Uh, kind of dark. Hope you can see properly. Maybe not the smartest thing to do it in the... Well, we've got some lighting. Okay, so... See, I need manifestations of seal. But to get them in here... How the hell... Why can I not move manifestations of seal and there is no... No option to make manifestations of seal here. As far as I can see. Okay, let's check on the other ones, but I don't think... Like, I think only at that one you can actually craft it. But it's strange that this one wouldn't give me an option. Maybe it's when I actually create purified flesh that I get one. Is it by crafting in here that you get one? Else that's not gonna be really an issue. Because I have enough flesh. And it goes a little faster than the zeals. Come on, one, one flesh, one zeal? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna craft up... Uh, let's say 50. Uh, I'm gonna keep a couple. Because I'm not really sure how it's gonna work with the other ones. So, from here, let's make a jump and a run. It's gonna be faster, the elevator's on the other side anyway. Hi, people. Yeah, just passing through. Alright, so... This is the Draghetto, right? Draghetto's uh, kiss. Uh, and I presume by making uh, one of these three items, you can get a zeal, serpent venom glands, uh, sand reaper toxic glands, and then elixir of freedom handful of insects uh, the insects are really easier to get but a sliver of the unfulfilled uh, because it's a knife i presume it's gonna be needed to harvest from some humans so let's go look for some humans closest humans nearby You can die, please. This is what I mean, like, the, the other pace is better to farm. Because these were actually, even with this sword, like, three hits. Okay, so the sliver of the unfulfilled. Alright, so we still need to find out which troll actually goes in there. We do know that there's, like, one lady that talks to us. But I don't think I can actually... I never actually tested it. If that's the person of the religion you actually need to tame, like a named priest, perhaps. Could be possible, but doesn't... I uh, can't relect right now. So yeah, uh, 101 unfulfilled uh, and a lot of uh, books. So let's see, recipe of freedom. Uh, let's craft one. Let's see if that gives us the zeal. Else we're gonna need to look into the sand reapers. Kind of hope elixir of freedom. Not really sure what it does. Let's see. Doesn't say any specifications. A concussion that frees the embedder. Um, wait, what? Did we just craft one? Where where is it? Ah, uh, did we cancel it? <laughs> we probably canceled it last last second because we thought it was ready. Old habits. Come on, show me what you do. Elixir of freedom, more movement speed. I should do a, like an elixir test day because there, there is quite a few. Oh, 
and a zeal. All right, so let's create 41. Yeah, we do need to get it's one right and 10. We do need to get more because it's gonna be 70 for the next one, but we can do this one. Okay, so that's that. Now we know how to do that. So, which one is next? Ow, ow, ow. Luckily, cat like falling. So, this is the uh, map room. Still need to complete that one as well. Two more villages to build. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna do some off time, uh, some off camera work, I think. Around the base, setting up the villagers. Uh, villagers. Uh, well, more. We need more villagers as well. So I can set up some more villages here and there. Dress them up. Because I kind of want to do Seth. Seth. Did we upgrade to Sanctum? So 75 seals. And that's going to be the Seth antidote, most likely. That's going to give it. So we needed human hearts. That's kind of good. Uh, let's create. We need 100, right? 99, 100. That way. Oh no, we needed 75. Okay, yeah, let's just build 100. Doesn't really matter. So that's gonna take up some time to get those seals done. So you do need the heart for two places, and you do need the meat for two places. But then uh, you do need the. Uh, what was it again? The flasks for the other one. And then I think for Mithra, you need the. Well, you're probably gonna need the essence. And it didn't really farm up a lot of that. Because we're gonna need to make Ambrosia then. Uh, as the consumable to make seals, I think. Well, we'll see in a second. And how much it's gonna cost. That's that's the most important thing. So yeah, alright, yeah. So to upgrade this one we need ice shards, but no way how to get them. We can craft um, ice, frozen water from five ice shards. First I was thinking, okay, let's put ice in here and make ice shards from ice. But yeah, you need five uh, ice shards to actually craft ice itself. And yeah, the, the whore frost hatchet. Dangerously cold to the touch. So yeah, can't do this one unless... Uh, yeah, and we need to craft ice to get the seals in this one most likely. So yeah, that one is kind of stuck. And then... No, don't get up. We should have that one is complete. So we kind of can check uh, in the meantime. So that was York. That was the the flesh. And then we had... I'm always thinking that there's six. But there's actually just five religions. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's just five religions. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Um, so, offering to Mitra, the human heart, and, well, we have enough of that, right? Ambrosia, Lingering Essence, Mithra and Ank. How do we, how do we craft the god again? Hmm, so this one is done then? Because I can't see... I uh, might have to look that up. Might have to look that up. Uh, that one. Oh, we could have taken the elevator. That would have been faster than running. And we're gonna get attacked. I need to place some archers on the wall. To keep those two wolves and like this deer behind me. Oh, it didn't notice me. Kind of sounds like I'm scared of it. Let's go up here. A lot of climbing today. I know. But we gotta get there. And they're always running back into the base. Taking the elevators. Eh, sometimes too slow. Or, well, maybe just perception wise it's slower. So what do we need? 13. We already have 64. So we can do this upgrade. Let's craft it. Alright. Almost done. Let's see what it gives. 
and how big this one gets. The other one kind of stayed the same size. The stairs are always aligned with the front or I try to align them with the front so we can always have a perspective on how big it gets afterwards. Yep, yeah, same size. All right, it was with the tree. Right, kind of forgot that. So to upgrade this one, it's actually max upgraded. And the yoga and bone spear we have now. So purified flesh can be kept in here. Uh, manifestations of seal, not really sure. We have an open spot. And there is a uh, yog priest. So maybe we do need a level 3 thrall. That's something to look forward to. That should be done as well now. Over the tent. And it's raining again. <laughs> it's always <laughs> raining in the north. Come on. Let's get up. Get up. Let's see if we can upgrade this one. We should be able to. The potions and... What was it? The elixirs kind of went fast. 1922. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna take a while before we have the 30 that we need. So I'll bring you guys back once it's gonna pop. Let's uh, check out how much different this one looks. Oh, it's still a longer time. Ooh. And this is supposed to be a bed now for two? Holy <laughs> hell. Yeah. I don't like the footsteps though. Spikes. That's That can be, that can be good. Looks more of an altar now. Yeah, it kind of looks good. Oh, like the deep steps on it. Yeah, actually looks looks pretty good. Ooh, well, we got a lot of Dracetti Acolyte hand wraps. Dracetti Acolyte headpiece. Oh, we've got an, an Alkalite Seth. Uh, okay. Transmute. Crimson Transmute. Ooh, a lot of Transmutes. Fine into a loaf of bread. Okay, okay. So let's make more seals. Well, there is no more upgrade for this one. Hmm. Let's check. Feats, religions, religions. At the back here. Blessings of Mithra. Still need to learn. Uh, Acolyte of Seth we have complete. Uh, Acolyte of Joch we still need to buy the upgrade. And Yimmer we need to buy. And the pleasure place of Draketto. Okay, that gives the feast of Draketto a holy food served at the orgy orgies of Draketto. Yeah, I definitely want the, uh, the upgrade to uh, Pleasure Palace. So I'm gonna reset my points. We're gonna upgrade all the temples today. I'm gonna, because we can do, what the hell is that? What the hell? Ooh, there is actually a marker now on the map where one of my religions is, are they all gonna give max rank? Like a beacon in the air? That should make it interesting. Okay, now I definitely need to make sure that I do all the upgrades. Okay, I'm going to reset my points, uh, gather all the materials, and well, we'll look at all the different altars and all the level 3 altars as far as I can do them today. There we go. Ooh, and it did move forward quite a bit. Yeah, it, it did move. I think this is the first one that actually moved because the line of the stairs was here. Now the stairs actually start here. Still fits, so not bad. The sanctuary, Sanctum of Seth. Alright, so this one done. On to the next one that we can upgrade. I like the kitty cats. I wish they stay. It would be sad. Like they're where on the previous one as well and on this upgraded one as well oh here we go and they're standing upright more with a heart necklace 
Really cool, really cool, and this looks an actual death bit with a button. Nope, button doesn't do anything. Yeah, nice, uh, really nice uh, build. Pleasure Palace of Druketo. And I did put up the York Shrine like two minutes after I put on this one. Uh, just so we didn't have to wait again, because uh, it was ready. All, uh, it was already ready. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> what I wanted to say. So I don't hope that it should be two, two-ish minutes, not too long. That I definitely would make it here before it actually changed. And as you can see, we have three beams now: a yellow, a I think a purple and a red one, or a blue one and a purple one, not really sure. Kinda need to see it in the darkness with a open sky, that will give the best uh, visuals actually. So and one tower is not gonna have the, the beacon. Oh, gotta make sure that this doesn't pop yet. Oh, almost there. I think one or two more ticks. Come on, change my pretty, change. Give me your beam of light. And then we'll definitely need to take a look on top of our tower, how it looks if you look down. Yeah, one more. Eye shards, guys. Eye shards, if you can tell me uh, how I, I can get them. Uh, I checked online and there's a huge discussion on what you can actually get them to. Oh, there we go. The big skull and actual fire, so the place is a little lit up. Uh, the Druketo doesn't have any lighting. Oh, and this is definitely red. So red, blue, purple, and yellow. So I guess Yimmer is maybe green then or something like that. Well, let's go. Let's take it from a top view from the top of our a tower. Let's see how it looks. Looks like a Power Ranger station. No, 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 not Power Rangers. Uh, who are the kids? Captain, Captain America? No, Captain America, not. Uh, Captain Universe? When our powers combined. Ah, oh, I can't come up with the name. It was something like that. And then you had like green, blue, earth, water. Like the elements. And the rings of the. Yeah, I remember the show. I remember the show. It was when I was 12 years old. No. Was it 12? Uh, maybe something around that age. A long time ago. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. So blue, red, yellow, and purple. You look at if you look at it in the corner, you can actually see it's purple. Like I don't get why the corner view gives a better view than actually looking straight at it. The red beam doesn't have that. Uh, if you look down as well. Yeah, the map room, and all our religions, Ooh. so missing one more guys, if you can help me out, would be really grateful to tell me how I can get those shards. And then we do need level 3 Archpriest, so that's definitely another hunt we need to go on to be actually uh, able to craft the gods that lie behind these uh, altars. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.